Open your book to page 134. This is lesson 4.3. This lesson is uh, solve the word problem using proportions. Now, when, you, when you're doing the proportions, make sure you watch the labels. They have to be all lined up. So you can line up horizontally or vertically, but not crisscross. For example, if you look in the book, you got miles per hour were equal to miles per hour. So you can you see the label, if it's the, it, it lines up this way. Or if you, it, or you can line up vertically, so you can, for example, you can have the miles over miles were equal to the hours over hours. Okay? So you notice you can you can line up this way, or you can line up the label this way. Okay? And it doesn't matter if you flip upside down. So like this one over here, you can also have the, the hours over miles. We go to hours over miles. Okay? So as long as you line up horizontally, it doesn't matter if it's upside down or not. Okay, and, and you also can line it up vertically. So you can just so this is going this way, this is going this way, right? See that? So then none of this way. But make sure you don't go across like that. So if you have the, like for example, you have a dollar sign, dollar per week, per weeks, you go to weeks per dollars. So this way is, is wrong. And you can tell it's wrong because this is how you kind of remember. If you go like this, if you none of this way, none of this way, then see the X, X means it's wrong, okay? And also, when you're doing a proportion, make sure the labels are the same type. So, for example, you have a dollar per week, uh, per week, and you have a dollars per days. So this is normal because they are not the same kind, right? This is weeks, this is days. So this one is no good also. So just be aware of that. So let's go to example one. Now, when you're doing the word problem, what you want to do? You want to write things down as you read. Okay, so it's a, a woman used 10 gallons of gas on a 180 miles trip. So you're going to, again, write down your label. So you got 10 gallons on 180 miles. Okay. And it says how many gallons. So again, if you don't know what to do, just none of your labels, right? So how many, so it'd be X gallons. Okay. So how many gallons of gas? can she expect to use on a 300, uh, 300 miles trip? Okay. Again, it's very easy with a proportion. As long as you line up your, your labels, then you, then you know it's correct. Okay. So again, so if a gallon miles, then you have gallon miles and that's all you have to do. So next thing you want to do is just go and solve, and we already did this before, right? Just go and cross multiply. So you got 180x equal to, and you go this way, so it's 10 times 300. Again, don't waste your time multiplying into big numbers. Then after that, you're going to divide by 180, right? So again, to undo the multiplication, you have to divide. So when you divide by 180, you have to do the same on the other side, right? So this cancel out, and let's go and cancel these things out. Right? Divide by 10, and this one you can divide by three, so, so you get six, divide by three, you get 100. And then divide by 2, you get 3. Divide by 2, you get 50. So x equal to 50 over 3. Now usually when you're doing a word problem, you want, it, um, you want to use decimal, but this is fine. You can just leave it like that. That's perfectly fine, 50 over 3 gallons. If you convert, it would be 16 and 2 thirds. Okay, but this is fine, just leave it. Okay, let's go to example 2. Okay, example two, it says, at a, at a soda fountain, eight quarts of ice cream, eight quarts of ice cream was used to make 100 milkshakes. Okay, I'm gonna use MS for milkshakes, okay? And then it says, how many quarts? So X, again, just, just none up the label quarts, right? None of the quarts. How many quarts are needed to make 550 milkshakes. Now, how do I know this goes up there? Because the label, remember what I said, right? The label had to be lined up, okay? 
So if you if you label go across like that, then it's wrong, right? So because I have a chord over here, so I know that the chord will go on the top. And have the milkshakes, the number, and the milkshake, so you will be on the bottom. Okay? Again, just none of your label. It's very simple. Okay? So now to solve, you cross multiply. Okay. So you got 100x equal to 8 times 550. Again, don't multiply out. When you multiply into a huge number, then you have to waste time try to reduce. Okay. So after this, to solve, right, this is 100 times x. So to undo times, you have to divide. Right? And when you divide, you have to do the same on the other side, right? That's what equal means. Equal means you do on this side, you have to do the same on the other side. So this cancel out. Okay, this one, that's going to cancel out one of the zero. Okay. And then, let's go ahead and cancel out the... Okay, this is divisible by five. So divide by five, I get 11. Divide by five, I get two. And two and eight is divisible by two. So divide by two, I get one. Divide by two, I get four. So x equal to 44, and what is the label? Well, it tells you over here, right? The, the, the chord go along with the, the x, so it would be uh, 44 chords. Okay, let's go to example three. Example three, it says a six-foot a six man okay, casts a four-and-a-half-foot Shadow. Okay, so the main, actual main is on top, the shadow is on the bottom. Okay, how tall is a tree? How tall is a tree? So that's your X, right? the tree. We cast a 30 foot shadow. So on the top is an actual object, on the bottom is a shadow. Again, if you're not sure what to do, right? Just look at over here. This is the shadow is on the bottom, so the shadow has to be on the bottom. Okay. Okay. So again, the, you have the improper. Uh, you have the mixed number, so you need to go and convert into improper fraction. So that's going to do that. So you got six over. So this would be nine over two. You go to x over thirty. So again, make sure you do your work. Show your show your work step by step, going down step by step. So convert into improper fraction, then you can go and multiply. So you got 9 over 2 x equal to 6 times 30. Okay, now to undo at a number, you need to multiply by reciprocal, right? To get rid of the 9 over 2, you need to go and multiply by 2 over 9. Okay, so this is a reciprocal technique. So that the 9 and 9 cancel out, 2 and 2 cancel out. Now, because you multiply 2 over 9 on this side, you have to do exactly the same on the other side. That's what equal means, right? Equal means you do this, you must do the same on the other side. So now this will cancel out, right? That's the whole purpose of doing the reciprocal. So now let's go and cancel these things out. Okay, so the 9 is divided by 3. So divide by 3, I get 3. This one is divided by 3, I get 2. And 3 and 30 can divide by 3, I get 1. 30 divided by 3, I get 10. So multiply, 2 times 2 is 4, times 10 is 40. Okay, and the label would be feet.